Hello and welcome back to our Stationeers Mars Getting Started guide. In the previous episode I have posed a question. Which type of airlock would be suitable here? And if you have answered the advanced airlock of course, well you have gotten correct. So you have gotten the right answer. So without further ado, let's grab the, all the necessary components and then in today's episode we will be building the advanced airlock on this spot. Uh, we've already built once of the advanced airlock in case you were seeing but so if you are watching this this might be a little bit of the repeat but for those of new you who are new here this is how you build an advanced airlock but first we need some power and currently as you see in this red cable the, the power has been supplied from the previous room we will change that so that it comes from outside and this room will be on independent powered circuitry mainly because I not because of this room but the previous room is actually hydroponics and that will require a lot of lots of chips in terms of regulating the temperature a lot of devices you know exchanging heat and whatnot so I have decided to isolate this uh, you know circuit separately so as you can see I've taken the cable the you know the heavy cable from our batteries going to parallel with the old cable which I will be removing and it will go inside all the way in and then we shall be replacing the old cable so I mean it is up to your personal choice if you want to have each separate room on its separate network uh, for me it's a mixed bag but in this case particularly as I said because of the hydroponics I want it to be on the separate network so now first things first we will connect the of course the you know the fuse box or what this is actually not the fuse box but you know power controller there we go then we need to place in the battery inside it as we did and then we come to the point where we want to once again disconstruct this frame be careful the area is pressurized but I've shown in the previous episode already how you can you know wall it in from outside so that you can actually do these things and now it's only a matter of you know minutes before we sever this cable and then just connect the new one and of course the power supply to the door and everything else should be taken from the outside so yeah from this power controller that I have just placed right so let's disconnect these there we go these cables will be probably needed for something else and all these tables that you can see here I'm gonna move actually I'm gonna move to the new room because this would be a hydroponics bay so I'm thinking of here I will be growing crops maybe put in a couple of harways that will be you know harvesting this in the future also making sure that I regulate temperature and whatnot so this is all that will be coming however we have to take it step by step obviously so that thing being said now I want to be placing the cables yes so first of things first you will be connecting here come on stick it there we go then we want the cable coming in from this side you shall be connecting from this round and here we will be putting a junction so so now the next room is completely separate from the previous room and there we go oh one thing to add we will be constructing the airlock meaning that I need to have a sensor and that is a gas sensor typically since my other panel will be crowded by everything else I what I want to do is I want to be placing sensor on that wall good I think and now I want to be actually you know splicing the cable inside hold on there we go this way yes because here I will be featuring you know the control panel for the airlock and everything else so here I want a four-way junction there we go perfect all right with that thing being done I think it's time that we start placing the piping so I want to be placing the pipe and the air being sucked in and sucked out will be out of those respective rooms so this will keep the air composition and the pressure of the air intact in those rooms except for minor deviations because of this one single cubicle of course all right so if I want to tackle this I will tackle this as a separate you know um, issue but uh, for the time being taking the air outside of this room I think it's good enough yeah oh, hydration and uh, hunger actually guys I have a follow-up video to this one where I will be showing you how to fix some hydration issues that you might be having 
after you know the update which has introduced the liquid state of water and heating and whatnot so do be keep an eye out for that when it comes out i think it will be very interesting and helpful especially to you beginners but i digress now placing the cable and now that i've placed this i've realized that this actually um uh, power controller should be one point lower because well i've designed so that i could uh, yeah have, have a passive vent at this side so right all right i need to actually fix that right also one more thing that i have uh, when i was building the cables I have decided to, to create a terrain manipulator because it has become increasingly hard for me to actually climb from the uh, from the fields onto my platform. So you will see how it's actually being used here as well. And I actually need to remove my trusty pickaxe and then I have to take the dirt canister that I had in the um, in my mining belt. So hold on. Okay, open it up. Dirt canister. There we go it's full then we're gonna take a battery i'm actually thinking should i take a big battery i should take the small one right i'm not gonna use this tool so often so i think it's good all right 100 percent see this is the area that i'm struggling with i haven't found a good way so i'm actually gonna fill it with dirt here so all right are we ready fill it goink goink and i'm gonna be placing the above two cubicles come on Gung, uh, sorry, here, Gung, Gung, come on, you can do it, there we go, there we go, and one more, there we go. Now, isn't this the most beautiful thing that you have ever seen? Yeah, I thought so too. Now, so I'm going to now take the mining belt where I will just mine and take a little bit of the top, just an itch a bit smidge so it becomes easier to climb. So if you have to make, you know, naturally looking climbs, this is the way you do it. There we go. Easy peasy, right? Good. Now at least we can climb on top of this. So back to our demolishing this. Um, so we have some passive air vents and I'm going to be removing first this. So I'm going to take it just one notch down. Not really a big deal, but you know, okay. Cable this side. There we go. That's what we want to do. You sunshine. We also want to disassemble and put and through the magic of editing, I have just decided, okay, now I'm going to first be welding up this because uh, it's actually becomes very hard to put you know, the power controller on the wall, well, which technically doesn't exist. So it's doable, but it's not really easy. See, this is much more easy. There we go. Okay, we place it like this. That looks legit. And all we need to do is to take this, open it up, stick in the battery, and we shall be golden. Turn it on, and it works. Beautiful. Well, that thing is covered. All right. So now time to place the passive vent that we have lovingly decided to cram in. So yeah, actually I could have just put it on top, but you know, I'm a sticker for the details. What can I tell you? Anyway, all right. So that looks good. Now let's go and let's place the rest of the airlock components that we need. We need two active vents. One will be going here, another one will be going there. There we go. And each of them leads to their respective outlets. So we should be probably connecting the cableage. There we go. One cable, second cable, and in the middle will come the console. Good. Then I just need to get the console, you know, the, the card and everything else. So, uh, sensor, first we're going to be placing the sensor, which is, would be the gas sensor, this guy, right? And then we'll take care of the rest components when it comes to consoles and whatnot. So I'm just checking that it works. And then we have decided to place in the, co the, uh, the console. Then we have the advanced airlock card. And now we will need some, you know, sheets. Okay. Let me just first cram in the data disk for configuration later on. Okay, and I need some glass sheets to finish it up. Simple enough, right? 
There we go. Not really a big deal. Now, technically, if I wanted, I, I would configure it, but I'm gonna save that just for a little later. All right, so. Now, the only thing that I wanted also to do is I wanted to move these guys, as I said, to another room because, well, yeah. So, you guys get disconnected and then we're gonna move everything. I don't think that you guys need to really watch technically every single detail. So, as you can see, I have put them, I have connected them, and all we need to do is provide power and everything will be hunky dory. There we go. Come on. There we go. And you turn here and then we will be placing data cables all the way here. So that would hopefully resolve our power situation and manual food production. Good. We haven't, we don't have yet, you know, automated presses and everything. This is something that I've heard that exists. I haven't seen it yet. If you guys know a good video to it, I would really like to see it. However, for the time being, I think we shall be focusing now on setting up the airlock. So, in order to do that, I really want to identify which is which. So I'm gonna call this glass door, private room. So let's put PR, shall we? And we're gonna call this outer because it's outer to the private room. That's why I'm, you know, sticker for the labeling. So. This will be then glass door, private room, inner. For me, it's important to be able to identify them. Then we're gonna be calling also this active event, private room, outer. And this one, active event, private room, inner. This is especially important if you have multiple sensors from which you're drawing information, etc., etc. So that's why I think it's kind of important you have it all in proper places. Right. Good. So, there we go. That settles that part. Now, uh, what I want to be doing, I need to get, uh, I need to get the data disk, and then let's configure this bad boy. So. Stick the data disk, turn on the console, and it'll, it will, of course, flash in error. See? And now we have these pressures, and I'm gonna set them to nil, actually. You could configure them to be external pressures, but uh, this will be the pressure the airlock will inflate to before opening the door. And you could make it to equalize, but I've put when I put zero, it's just a quicker operation. The rest air rushes in and there's not really any big consequence so i figured might as well okay so first you want to have a glass door outer pressed then you want the active vent outer because you're going in the sequence how it will be activating then you have to go with the gas sensor there you go then you go with the active vent inner because then that one is supposed to be triggered and then you go to the glass door interior, and then it will be, oh, uh, Aaron config. I actually think I didn't uh, add the door. Let me just check quickly. Yeah, the, the inner door wasn't added. So press the inner door, there we go. And when I exit it, my, my mouse sometimes double clicks. See, now it works. Cycle to exterior. For me, the most important thing is that it will actually depressurize the contents of the airlock and it will just open the door and the air will rush in. So it's not really a big deal. Each room will maintain its pressurization and air composition, which is important. So this is actually the, the way, guys, how you make an advanced airlock between the two different rooms if you need it. And I hope if you're watching this video and this is not your first video that you're watching and you're not yet subscribed, this is universe telling you that you should probably press that subscribe and maybe even that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next video when it will be coming out. Um, I hope I have earned a like and uh, let me know your thoughts on, in the comments below. There are plenty more things that you could be doing with this um, airlock and in the next episode i will be talking about hydroponics but in, until then smash that like button 
And if you want to connect with me on other social media like Twitter or Facebook, I even have an Instagram, and I'll see you in my next video.